Thank you so much for speaking with me today. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for having me. No, oh, it's my pleasure. What a great movie. Oh, I'm obsessed. Being a part of Crush is an honor, honestly. Like this movie is brilliant. It really is. It's it's so, you know, obviously like on the surface, you everyone's going to say, oh, it's, you know, just another high school rom-com, but it's not. It's com- like, it is so much more than that. And I loved literally every second of it. Um, and <laughs> let's kind of jump in and talk about how you got drawn to this movie and your character. Uh, well, the story is I was actually on set with my mom. Um, we were doing a photo shoot for uh, my skincare line mm-hmm. and we got the email and it was like the breakdown of the character was like Stacy Clark. You know, she's track star. She's the best friend of the lead. She has a boyfriend, everything. I was like, I love this character. I am obsessed. And it said open to all ethnicities and the name was Stacy yeah. Clark. So I was like, The odds sound a little bit against me now. I can't lie to you, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to go for it. I don't care. I'm going to, I'm going to be Stacy. Yeah. um, Months go by, like a month and a half goes by. I don't hear anything. I'm like, I didn't get that. And then my manager calls me and he's like, Hey, you actually have a chemistry read for that movie you auditioned for a month ago. I'm like, no way. And then um, I go on the Zoom call and shout out to Sammy Cohen, our director, a queen, I love Sammy. Working with Sammy is was just a dream come true. Everybody a part of this film is amazing. Kirsten, Casey, the writers, Will from American High, everybody is brilliant. And Sammy, uh, our director, was on the Zoom call with Sammy and Tyler Alvarez, who already booked the role for Dylan, oh. which is already so intimidating walking into a chemistry read on Zoom with somebody that already has the role. And it's like yeah. kind of cool you. So I was like, Ooh, okay. I just went straight into it. We did the scenes, ended the call. I didn't think anything of it. The next day, this is funny. I was filming a TikTok and my manager kept calling me and interrupting my TikTok. So I was crying. I was like, why is my manager calling me? This is so weird. And they text me, please call me. It's it's, it's important. And I was like, okay, now I'm scared. And my manager calls me, my agents are on the phone and they're like talking all slow. And they're like, so you're Stacey Clark. And I'm like, what? No way. And they're like, you're leaving in a week and a half. Oh God. He's New York. I'm like, what? So my life, it was on a Friday that I got the call too. My life fully flipped and I screamed with joy because this role was just calling my name and I love how this movie there are no stereotypes to this movie whatsoever and for me to be a black woman playing a character named Stacy Clark who's like a rich popular girl it can be possible you can be a black girl and play that and I just love breaking down those barriers and then of course to also be a part of such a brilliant film that's so inclusive and diverse and we talk about you know sexuality in such a light way and um I just feel like it's such an inspiring coming of age rom-com with a lot of spice a lot yes (laughs) well to kind of talk about the the sexuality is there's nothing it's not outlandish it is not in your face or you know they don't if they basically the writers did it in such a beautiful job that as you're watching it at no point do you ever feel like they're pushing it on you they're yeah. trying to you know oh we're just throwing this in because you know we need to make it more sexual it's these are a bunch of high schoolers you know going on a track trip you know spending going to parties like this is stuff that they do and it's so relatable um but what i also found to be really great is your character stacy She's not only the popular girl, but it's a spin on the popular girl. So typically you would find it was kind of the same with Isabella's character is the popular girls tend to be the mean girls in the movies. And this one, she wasn't. Stacey was a gem. She was someone that you wanted to hang out with. So can you tell me how excited you were that not only, you know, were you a black woman playing Stacey Clark, but also, you know, you're not playing the mean girl. You're playing the, the one that everybody wants to be friends with. I think it made me even happier to accept the role, honestly, because there's so many different layers to each character. And I feel like so many people are going to be able to relate to every single one of these characters in this film. And I, that's what I love about Stacey the most is she is such a supportive friend. And that's why I really was drawn to this character. Not that I was able to relate to all the partying and all of that stuff, because, well, let me tell you one thing when I was Stacey's age, 
I didn't even have my first kiss yet. Like I was not, I was like homeschooled. I didn't get my first kiss till I was almost 18. So we were very different in that way. But when it comes to supporting your friends and being there for them and being like a ride or die, that resonates with me so much. I'm such a loyal person. And, you know, once I trust you, I really want to give you my all. And that's really how Stacy is, not only with Dylan, her boyfriend on the movie, mm-hmm. but also with Paige and Gabriella too in the film. Um, and honestly, all the characters, I mean, Stacy really just wants what's best for everybody and even though she's going through her own things she wants to run for student body president and you know she's going through things with Dylan she still wants Paige to find love and to just be happy ultimately but I think the other thing is is the relationship that was showcased between Stacey and Dylan was so healthy you know at no point was I watching it being like these sort of toxic relationship yeah you're promoting like, are you really like, I was like, you know, expecting like with the competition and all that, they're like to be this back and forth banter and there wasn't. I agree. I think that's what's so unique about Stacey and Dylan. And that's why I'm so honored that I got to work alongside Tyler because not only were we so comfortable with each other, which is so important when you're doing so many intimate scenes because mm-hmm. I've never really acted uh, in anything where I had to just constantly make out with the person. Like yeah. I did that one time, but it wasn't, it wasn't nearly as intense as this. And to be able to be so comfortable with somebody like Tyler, I mean, we always just had open communication and we're so close offset as well, which helps so much on screen. But what I love about uh, the dynamic of Stacey and Dylan is we are so supportive of one another. Mm-hmm. If if Dylan wins, Stacey's winning. If Stacey wins, Dylan wins. There's no rivalry. There's no toxic ma- masculinity. Like you can tell in the film that Stacey probably dresses Dylan and goes shopping with Dylan and they probably get their nails done together too. And that's fine. And I love that. And I think that's so important. And I'm really happy that Stacey and Dylan have a healthy relationship because they are relationship goals. They really Yes, are. they are. <laughs> yeah, but they also, I think you touched upon it too, is not only do you, do you kind of see like the, the more feminine side, but also the masculine side too. They're very supportive of each other when it comes to athletics. And, you know, for a long, for the longest time, rom-coms have made, oh, the athlete is the boy, student body president is the girl. And they're both, both of them, you know, so you get to see both sides of it. And you two, I, I don't know how you guys were able to go from a Zoom screen test to the physical, but that that whole thing played out amazing. The chemistry between you guys, the whole chemistry between the entire cast was great. But when you started to set out the couples, that was just phenomenal. So can you tell me a little bit about how you guys were able to take it from the Zoom screen test to an actual in-person, we've got to make this work? Honestly, once I got on the Zoom call, I mean, there was a a scene where we kind of have to go back and forth and, you know, he started like growling at me and I just growled right back. And I saw Sammy Cohen, who's our director in the Zoom. I saw her eyes like light up, like, but I didn't know if that was a good thing or a bad thing. So in my mind, I was like, oh, maybe I pushed it too far. That's not even in the script. Maybe I shouldn't have growled. And next day I booked it and then I met him in person for the first time. Um, well, I met everybody like the, at the same time and we were all in Syracuse together and we all went out and got dinner together, but you know, you never know if people are going to gel together or not. And the first day of filming, we have this huge makeout scene, uh, like <laughs> near the lockers and like Tyler and I were like, we've never kissed before wait, this is like, wait a damn minute, we need a kiss. And so then we kissed each other off screen, Tila and Tyler kissed, and then we were ready to film. We're like, let's go, let's go. And then the rest was history. We just kept it up and we just have amazing chemistry in real life. I think that's why it just shined. Like he just gets me and I get him. We're like insane together, it's crazy. Um, And then it just got to a point where we had to kiss so much on set we would just say good morning to each other as Teal and Tyler and just kiss. That's just how it was. Cause it was just like, well, we're going to have to kiss in these 10 scenes. So we might as well just kiss good morning too. <laughs> we had a lot of breath mints on set too, though. We were so like, you know, we cared about one another. Like, cause we'd be, Tyler and I, we loved Crafty. Okay. We're at Crafty 24 seven. If we're not in the holding room, we're at Crafty. And so then we always had these Listerine strips and we would always put it in each other's mouths together. It was great. It was a good time. He's a great kisser. We kiss him again if I can, which I will probably. (laughs) Well, perfect. I'm going to wrap it there because I know you have a very busy schedule ahead of you. Uh, But thank you so much for speaking with me today. And I'm so excited for everyone to see the movie. Thank you so much for having me.